before you watch the video like our channel subscribe it and click on the bell icon for notifications hi show that the points 1 comma 7 4 comma 2 minus 1 comma minus 1 and minus 4 comma 4 are the vertices of a square so here I have drawn a square and uh, named them as a a b c d and given the vertices like a 1 comma 7 and b as 4 comma 2 c as a minus 1 comma minus 1 and the d as minus 4 comma 4 so how to know that these points these points form a square so what are the properties of a square we all know that uh, square means all sides are equal square means the length of all the sides are equal the length of all sides are equal and then in a rhombus also we know that all sides will be equal then what would be the difference between the rhombus and the square so in a square the length of the diagonals are equal but if you see into the rhombus the length of the diagonals are not equal so to check whether this is a square or not we have to check first of all uh, we have to find the distance between AB BC DC and DA or AD and also we have to check the length of the diagonals that is BD and AC because uh, just now we have discussed that the length of the diagonals also should be equal to each other so again very simple uh, here to find the distance we use a formula that is uh, D is equals to under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so here this is about the distance d is equals to under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so let us find the distance between the a b now first of all so here i have taken a uh, a b that is uh, a points are x1 y1 and the point B is X2, Y2. So to find the distance between AB, so AB, so we know that the distance is X2 minus X1. So here X2 is 4 and X1 is 1. So that is 4 minus 1, that is 3, 3 squared. plus y2 minus y1 so y2 is 2 and y1 is 7 that is 2 minus 7 is minus 5 whole square so then what happens here that is uh, very clear that is 3 square is a 9 plus minus 5 whole square is 25 so it is equals to under root 34 units so we knew the distance of uh, AB is under root 34 units. Then now let us find the distance between the uh, find the distance between the B and C. So here the distance between B and C. So here already B uh, named as X2, Y2 and uh, this is let us name as uh, X1, Y1. B is uh, X2 and Y2. Fine. Now then X2 minus X1 that is a uh, 4 minus minus 1. So 4 minus of minus 1 that is uh, this is uh, X2 minus X1 is 5 square plus y2 is 2 or minus of minus 1 is plus 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 that is a 3 square so here I got 5 square is a 25 plus 3 square is 9 so I got this as root 34 units 
yes now let us find the distance between the next and the two points that is a C and D let me find the distance between C and D here so again before going to know so let already C is named as x1 y1 and let me name this as x2 y2 so that x2 is minus 4 and x1 is minus 1 so minus 4 minus minus 1 that remains minus 4 plus 1 is a minus 3 whole square plus y2 that is 4 minus of minus is plus 1 that is 4 plus 1 is 5 square so again I got that is uh, 9 plus 25 it's here again I got 34 units 34 units so now I, I, I find the, I would like to find the distance between 80 so this is already x2 y2 this is uh, x2 y2 and this is x1 y1 so let me find the distance between the ad here so ad equals to x2 minus 4 and 1 is uh, minus 1 that is minus 5 whole square plus y2 4 minus y1 that is 4 minus 7 is minus 3 whole square so this is uh, then this is again uh, under root under root minus 5 whole square is 25 plus minus 3 whole square is 9 so again I got that is a root 34 units so here I knew that all the sides of the square that is length of a b b c c d and a d are equal according to this now let us find uh, the distance uh, between the a c and b d also AC and BD because we have to we have to we have to check right we have to check the length of the AB uh, sorry AC and uh, BD so how to find then so here I I take the here I take the length uh, AC so AC so again in the AC let me take this is x1 y1 and here this is x2 y2 so AC equals to under root x2 is minus 1 and x1 is 1 so minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 so this is a uh, minus 2 whole square plus y2 is minus 1 and y1 is 7 so minus 1 minus 7 that is minus 8 minus 8 whole square so then what it becomes it's very clear so that is minus 2 whole square is 4 plus minus 8 whole square is 64 so that is equals to root 68 units so I got the one of the length of the diagonal that is AC as a root 68 and now let me find the distance between the B and D here okay so distance between the B and D then how to find the distance between the B and D so here B uh, let me take B is already uh, x2 y2 and uh, here this is x1 y1 and this is uh, x2 y2 
right so x2 x2 that is a 4 minus of minus plus so the length of BD now x2 is a 4 minus minus 4 that is plus 4 it becomes then it becomes 8 square plus y2 y2 is this one that is a 2 minus 4 2 minus 4 is minus 2 whole square then 8 square is 64 plus minus 2 whole square is 4 it is equals to root 68 units so now if I see the length of the all the four sides they are equal here root 34 units each and the, if you see the length of the diagonals uh, then the length of the diagonals are also equal so if the, all the length of the all sides of a square and the diagonals are equal then we can say that these vertices form a square so it has proved hence proved hence proved thank you thank you all